Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Golf and Bloom by Tapman Games. Tapman Games is a twin duo from Romania. They make some of the coolest build box games that are out there. Super hyper casual. Before we talk about Golf and Bloom, I wanted to talk about its two previous predecessors. When Tatman came out with Bloom, it helped them to create the idea of their next game, Bloomer. And after playing Bloomer, you can see the development in Golf and Bloom. You can see how making a game and completing a game can help influence your next game. And this is the biggest thing when it comes to making a game because when you make a game, you learn so much. And then when you make a new game using a very similar mechanic, you learn even more. So Golf and Bloom is kind of like the culmination of a bunch of cool mechanics made from Bloom and Bloomer. And we'll see it in Golf and Bloom in a second, but let's just take a look at Bloom. So Bloom was super easy. You basically just tap the screen. And my favorite thing about this game is the art. It just looks great. It's simple. You know what you're supposed to do. You just click, oh, that's the super famous painting. This is Bloom. And you can see how simple the game is. And the coolest thing about this game is how the, how the cubes just kind of grow into this cool shape. And you get to see, you know, cool art and design. After Bloom was released in March, of this year, months later, at the end of August, Bloomer came out as well. This is a different take on the same concept, and we see that in the intro. This UI screen, very straightforward and basic. The settings probably have sounds by Tapman Game, and quick instructions on how to play along with haptic feedback. Here we can see I've already played a little bit. Let's take a look at four. This game is pretty straightforward in that you tap in the areas and you're trying to get to a certain spot. And you can see how it works, kind of like that. You can see it's a growth and progression. There we go. You can see how it grows a progression from the previous game into the game we have here. So from Bloom, we have Bloomer and... Kind of like a puzzle game. You have to figure out where you need to use the puzzle and... Oh, not there. Just like that. And here we can see that the same images from before are being reused, but they have even more color. Fun, simple, hyper-casual puzzle game with beautiful art. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's check out Golf and Bloom. I've been waiting <laughs> a while for this. Each time you make a game, you learn so much and you take the best part of what you've learned to the next game and then you take that to the next game. This here is a series of three games that all have that Bloom concept and idea in different kinds and formats. So the Bloom game, super simple and straightforward. Bloomer, a little bit more of a puzzle and Golf and Bloom is likely to be more of puzzle meets golf in the same Bloom style. Golf and Bloom by Tapman Games. Always hit that yes to all. Try to support your game developers. The amount of money you make is literally not that much, but every little bit helps. Here we got some images on what we're supposed to do. Look at that ball, that looks great. Okay, and Golf and Bloom. Whoa, great intro to the game. Look at the UI, we got three stars, we got 20 coins, we got, it looks like we can choose different golf balls in the future. Do something like this. Nice. 
I kind of wish the movement was a little bit more sensitive, but that's just me. That's my preference. And here we can even see Bloom, a reference to the first game. Bloomer has the fox icon. Ying Yang. What's up, my Asians? Okay. Beautiful art. After playing the first two games, it's easy to see how this game came to be. And it uses a completely different mechanic in terms of having the golf ball fire. Great UI display of the circle spinning around the golf ball lets your eye focus on that. Oh, come on, come on. And notice the trail behind the golf ball. We've seen this butterfly again. The ability to reuse your assets in other games is something every developer should have in their toolkit. Nice swinging sound when you release the ball. I feel like that sound could come a little bit sooner. Look how this stretches too. That's great you are. And then this probably means more speed. Now this is a template in terms of the drag and pull back in Buildbox. Oh, that was cool. Okay, wait, can I do? Oh, nice. I didn't even, okay. That being said, my experience with it has been really difficult to get things to move the way that I like. Oops. Here we can see this is professionally like done. Oh, no more shots. I didn't even know there was a limited amount of shots. Okay, let's do this like this. Pull all the way back. Easy. Who's a pro? Me. Famous painting again. Oh, I got... Last one. Made it. Cool fall leaf. Skull, like the art on this, and notice the shadows too, that's a big... ...thing to utilize in Buildbox is the shadows, because we're in a 3D world. It almost looks like the, the cubes are hovering. Okay, so we got a little bit more challenge going on with some spikes here. Cool, it looks like a fox. Fire! That was Golf and Bloom by Tatman Games. One of the best build box developers out there. Be sure to check that game out. It's really cool to see a lot of these new games being published. It's not just Tatman Games, which has been publishing for a while now, but a lot of new other developers are just getting into the fold and publishing games, which is amazing because I want to play those games. So if you have a game, let me know in the comments below and give as much information as possible. Otherwise, YouTube is gonna think your comment is spam. I'd love to know your opinion on these games. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe by showing your support. It lets me know that you enjoy watching these videos. Until next time, stay safe out there. Peace.